Uh, a Brian Danielson Ring of Honor video aired, which was quite great. You know, that actually, actually as much about Jericho as it was, was about Danielson. Five years, Jericho says, since he has wrestled in his home country of Canada. I expect a hero's welcome. And Danielson vows to win the war. So they came up with this match. There were 50 minutes to go. And uh, it turns out they did not use all 50 minutes or even close to that. But they had a great match. We've mentioned this before. Danielson is uh, trains like a shooter, essentially. And Chris, Jer- Chris Jericho has trains like a hockey fighter, almost. And I'm not going to ca- come out here and uh, tell you that these are two grumpy old men. But you know what they are? They are crusty middle-aged fuckers. And they just beat the shit out of each other. And it's awesome. And there's a ton of mounted punches and a big top rope run. They, they did the, the 10 punches in the corner, and the crowd loved it. And so they just kept doing it like three more times. Uh, and then Jericho turned one of them into a top rope worker in Rana, which they liked. So it kind of took a while because the crowd wasn't like booing Danielson or anything. But it became clear about halfway through that they really, really wanted Chris Jericho to win. They're Canadians. He's Canadian. Danielson's a dirty Washingtonian. They wanted Jericho to win here. And so when uh, Jericho gets the walls after the uh, intermission, that's when it's really clear who they're cheering for. And Danielson reverses it. And I think he put it on the walls himself. And the crowd begins to boo passionately. And you've never seen a man so happy. Danielson loved being booed. And for, I think, the first time in AEW, he began to chant, yes, 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 as he held on this Boston Crab. So... Uh, he goes to the uh, hammer and anvil elbows, but Jericho powers out of that. It's actually an AA, which he wants to do a sports entertainer gimmick. That's a great finish to use. But uh, Danielson, <laughs> they're doing this series of high spots. Danielson's coming off the ropes over and over and fr- until finally Jericho catches him with the code breaker. But then uh, <laughs> Jericho does the bit where he, he whips Danielson into the corner and Danielson flips over and lands on his feet and hits the ropes back and forth. If you pay attention to this, Danielson calls for the, uh, he says, miss the elbow in midair as he's doing the flip. I don't think Jericho hurt him. I think Jericho said what? Because they hit the ropes once or twice. And then Danielson, as he's running, just roars at the top of his lungs, elbow! (laughs) And Jericho throws it, and Danielson ducks, and they do whatever to lead in the ref bump. But it's kind of amazing that something, I don't know, you you can't really say got screwed up, because they got screwed up, but there was a miscommunication here. And if you didn't have the volume turned up and you weren't listening very closely, You'd have no idea anything. I did not have the volume turned up, and I didn't. I didn't hear it. And I didn't notice. It was because they're awesome. Yes, they're that's, freaking that's awesome. The sign on, of a good uh, on the fly, nonstop motion. They got themselves back on the same page and pulled it off without a hitch. So the ref is down, and they do a double lariat for the double down. And Daddy Magic throws the belt into the ring, and Jericho's going to wallop him. And I don't know where Garcia was. Maybe he was stuck at the border. It took him forever to come down to this ring. Like Danielson had to like climb, use the ropes to climb up uh, to his feet and then drop back down again. But Garcia runs down and he takes that belt from Jericho and he gets booed. And there's a big shoving match. And Danielson hits the knee strike on Jericho, but he gets to his feet. And Daniel Garcia levels Brian Danielson with that Ring of Honor belt. And Jericho just crawls over and wins. And Garcia still looked a little conflicted, but he did. He made it, his action spoke for himself here. This was so, 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 so much fun. You know, I, I heard from people that didn't like this finish because they said this was just a swerve that made no sense. And I would passionately argue that because I believe that this is the story. And I could be wrong. I haven't heard what the actual story is, but this is what I think, this is what I think the story is going to end up being. So last week, they had the tag match, and Jericho... And Daniel Garcia were in the ring together. And remember, we had talked about that going in, like, what could they do here? Think it's going to be a horseman beatdown? Or do you think they're going to actually just do a match? And they did a match. And Garcia immediately wanted to get in with Chris Jericho. And they fought, and they wrestled, and they did the whole thing. And then, you know, it was abundantly clear that this is not a swerve at this point. In storyline, Daniel Garcia is fed up with this Chris Jericho. So they do the match, and what happens? Jericho cheats and beats Daniel Garcia. Daniel Garcia is down after the match. He's just disgusted. But Jericho's there celebrating, but he's looking over like, man, I hated to have to do that, but I had to teach this young fucker a lesson. Right? Right. And when the show is over, we discussed where could this go? What is Daniel Garcia going to decide to do in this championship match? Is he going to stick 
to his beliefs that he is a wrestler and not a sports entertainer, and he's going to stick with Brian Danielson, or is he going to realize after this loss that Chris Jericho was right? A sports entertainer does always beat a pro wrestler. And you know what? Maybe I got to fucking start cheating because I just got beaten by a guy who cheated. So, like, those are the two options. They had to, they had to choose one. So I think the story in this match was that when Jericho did the promo earlier and he said, I have not talked to Daniel Garcia in a week. Yes. I think that everybody's presuming that this was all, you know, they were in on it together. It was a swerve and they had a plan that he would come out later. And then you're asking, well, why didn't he fucking come out earlier? Why did he let? I don't think that. I don't think it was a swerve. I think in storyline, Jericho had not talked to him in a week. Mm -hmm. Daniel Garcia had, had was was stewing over what he should do and when it came down to jericho grabbing that deal he finally made his way down to the ring and he hadn't fully made his decision yet right and he made his decision in the moment yes so it wasn't a swerve it wasn't a plan he didn't know what he was going to do in storyline until the moment came and then he decided ah and he laid out brian danielson and that's why when the match was over, he wasn't like, you know, he was celebrating with Jericho and everything. Yeah, we have but he was still family. thinking ha, about ha, it. We got him. That was not him. No, it was like, God damn yes. it, I had to make a fucking decision. That's what I chose. And well, I'll live with it for now. And we'll see how the, I have to deal with the fallout now. But yes, Jericho did not know what Garcia was going to do. Garcia did not know what Garcia was going to do until uh, the heat of the moment, as they say. That was all awesome. There's a lot of criticism about professional wrestling. You all right over there? What's going on with you? There's up with the mic. Sorry. No, what do you need so much water for today? It's coffee. Put that away. Crying out loud, it's nighttime. You're not going to be able to sleep. <laughs> you have to have another drink right now. God, help me. Now, where was I? People didn't like this so much, I hear. I can't even remember what I was angry about. I got a question. Is anyone else thirsty? How did I not see I'm, that? I just... Uh, you absolute God, I hate everybody on this show. It's not an issue of whether the listeners can hear it. I don't care about you. It's about me. Sociopath. God. Sheesh. Me? Yeah. Now my wife is texting me, Craig. I hope you're happy about that. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.